Okay, hi there. We're going to get started on making a simple tic-tac-toe game. And in this tic-tac-toe game, we will be using classes to create our board and using a bit more object-oriented design uh, than we've seen in some of the other videos we've done. So here's kind of what it's going to look like once it's done. It's very, very simple. It's, there's no AI in it yet, but uh, we might be able to add that later. So basically, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you choose a spot, so I'm X, I'm going to go 5, because that's always advantageous. Then O is going to choose 1, uh, if I'm X, I'm going to go 9, and O has a choice here. Uh, if O can go to 4, X goes to 7, O, goes, o tries to block 8, and X wins on 3. So it tells us X wins. Would you like to play again? Yes or no. Okay, so let's uh, get started on coding that. Okay, so as you can see, we're using the terminal. So we're going to import OS so that we can do things like uh, OS.system, you know, clear the screen. And as I mentioned earlier, what we want to do is we want to create a class to show our board. Okay, so I'm going to create my class. I'm going to call it board. And we're not passing any parameters because the board's just kind of the board. And as with any other class, we need to initialize it. Notice that is a double underscore, not a single underscore. And when we are using classes, we always use self so we know what we're referring to. That is the first parameter that is passed, even though it's not explicitly stated. And so basically what we got to do is we got to think here is how we're going to store the data. Okay, so I could do, you know, so we've got nine, I'm going to use the word cells. We've got nine boxes or cells, spaces, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I could do, you know, cell one, you know, equals, I'm going to put it in that space, cell two, uh, space, so there's nothing in it. Um, not really the best use of our time energy, memory, etc, etc. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and use a list. So because it is related to the object of board, I need to use self, cells equals. Now here's kind of the interesting part. Um, depending on how you want to do this, um, what I'm going to do is, we, as we know, lists start from zero. But I have nine. So I could have zero to eight, which would be an efficient use of my memory, no question there. But it's going to make my life a lot easier if I have a dummy space. So I just ignore the zero for now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I actually got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, so those are my spaces on my board. And so I've initialized it, I've created a blank thing, a, a blank board. And now I'm going to make a function, I'm going to call it display. So I'm going to actually display the board. Again, it's an object, so our class, we're going to use self. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print, uh, let's say space, percent s, space, percent s, space, pipe percent s space quote and I'm going to do percent okay so again the top row of my tic-tac-toe board is one two and three so I'm going to do cells one two and three so self because it's a class cells one self Cells two, self. This might go off the screen here. Cells three. Okay. So what's going to happen is it's going to replace this percent s with whatever's here. So let's let's put an x in here, an o in there, and oops, and another x. Okay. Let's run it. Oops. If I run it, well, we'll run it. See what happens. Okay, I spelled system wrong. Um, you probably caught that earlier in the video than I did. 
Okay, nothing happens because we've just defined our class. We haven't actually done anything with it. So I'm going to create a board, and it is a part of the board class. And then I am going to display it. Let's run it. Okay, so there we go. We've got our top row, just as we uh, coded it. So we replaced it. We got XOX there. And then what we can do is we can go through and create the rest of the board. So what I might do is copy this. Okay, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, probably nine, eight, and seven. Okay, let's run it again. Okay, so far so good. And yeah, let's try and make it look a little bit nicer. So print. How's that? And copy that because we need that between both. Actually, I didn't want that. I didn't want underscores. I wanted dashes. Sorry about that. I could have done underscores, but it would look a little bit lopsided. Okay, there we go. Our board's a little bit long, but that's okay. Uh, let me cut off three. Okay, and the reason that's happening is because percent %s has two characters, but when we replace it, it's only one character, so the length is a little bit off. Okay, that looks bearable. Um, so like I said, I could, now I could go ahead, I could put another O, X, O, uh, X, O, X, just yeah, make sure the printing's working. And there's our board. Okay. So, so far what we've done is we have created our board class, we've initialized it, and now let's put this back to spaces. So we'll use space to represent a blank spot in our board. We've created a class method called display that will display the current state of the board. And then we've actually created a board you know, outside the class okay, in our main program. And it is a, an instance of the board class. And we have displayed it using the, the display method. And that is that.